Hi, this is Bonnie, and today we're going to work on some gel paper again. And this time it's going to be more spring oriented. And I have a, a plan, and um, I have a plan. And so um, I'm going to be using distress oxide in the gel plate, like I have before, and my um, blending brushes. So to start, I'm going to do the grass area. And for the grass area, I'm going to be using crushed olive mowed lawn and twisted citron and it really doesn't matter in the order that you put it on um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the mowed lawn first and I am going to be thinking of this as the bottom part of it is going to be grass oriented. I will end up um, doing something completely different than what I've ever done in one of my videos before other than making this type of a paper. Um, so I hope you stick around because I think you're going to have some um, fun trying to create something like this. So I'm using the different color greens to get a little bit of a different look. Not just one solid color. This is um, crushed olive. Crushed olive, kind of like, well, all three of these colors that I picked have a different hue or value to the um, greens. And that's why I really like them. So it's just a matter of taking, like I said, your blending brushes and adding the colors to your gel plate. This is the Twisted Citron. And every time you do this, it will be different because you can never really put it exactly in the same place. All right, so that's our green. So then I decided to go with a pink red and I'm going with pink raspberry and candied apple. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pink raspberry down at the bottom. I'm dividing this up into like three sections and I'm putting the pink on this side. It will be reversed when you go to do your um, printing anyway. So that is all the pink picked, not pink, picked raspberry and then candied apple and I'm using the same brush because I decided to start with a lighter color and then as I add the darker ink, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference with the brush. All right, then the next color I'm gonna be using is the um, an orange color, carved pumpkin and spiced marmalade. And this really, as you can tell, doesn't take very long to add these colors on. I am putting um, the uh, spiced marmalade towards the bottom. I'm calling that my lighter of my two colors. And then I'm just gonna put the darker color kind of at the top. Okay. And that's carved pumpkin for the top. It has come down a little bit as you wet this up. And then in the center, I have left a yellow, and that is going to be squeezed lemonade. And I'm going to be using a different brush. And I'm blending that together with the two, two with the two. And it really doesn't matter because if you think about too, when yellow mixes with either of these, it works really well. Okay, and then the other color is mustard seed. Same brush. Mustard seed's a little bit darker, and I did bring that down a little bit more when I tried this before. Okay, so. I've got all the all the colors of the ink that I want on my gel plate. Then the next thing I do is I use whoops, I'm squeaking here. Um, the next thing I do is I use some of this. Um, I'm going to show it to you. This is the um, pigment powders, and this one happens to be called. Um, I use it quite often. 
This is um, Cosmic Shimmers Pixie Powder Ancient Copper. I really, really like this. It just gives a shimmer. It's not always really, really visible to see on here when I'm doing it a whole lot, but it um, looks really nice on the paper. And all I'm just doing is I'm splattering some of that, and it does give a shimmer. And it doesn't really matter if I have big blobs, small blobs, um, it because it all comes together. And um, I always add water to it anyway. Okay, that's what I want. And then what I do is I have um, a piece of just regular cardstock, a little bit heavier heart cardstock. And, um, but before I use that, I go ahead and spray this. And you can see about how much I'm spraying on that too. It's a little bit um, more, not just misting, it's got some big bubbles. And then I do the same thing, one little spray through this um, cardstock. And then I place it on top. And basically I just cut a piece of um, computer size paper. This is cardstock. I'm eight and a half by eleven and a half to use the because this um, gel plate is a five by seven. Okay, let's see what we got. Every time we do it, it's a different reveal. And that's exactly what I wanted. Because I wanted the springtime colors. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and we'll be back. Okay, so this is my finished paper and I went ahead and decided to um, turn it into a digital paper. Um, but I also wanted to tell you that whenever I get done, I usually iron it on the ironing board. I miss the back of it and try to make it a little bit straighter. I still um, will use this um, as is for die cutting because it's great. So, but for now, I just went ahead and made a digital paper. And I've already started stamping on it. I wanted to give you an idea of what I'm gonna be doing. And I am going to be using uh, Fairy Hugs Peacock. And I'm gonna also be using um, the new um, Forest Flowers from Fairy Hugs. So um, I did do a little bit of embossing. And I also used um, VersaFine Clear Blue Bell. So um, it worked really well. It looks like she's um, standing on a hill and I'm gonna go ahead and, and put some flowers around her. Okay, because I heat embossed my peacock, I can kind of use that as a mask. The only problem is the lines in between will could still be stamped. But I did go ahead and make a mask so that I can um, do that if I want to um, cover her up. Um, to start, I'm gonna do a bunch of background and I'm going to be using the Golden Meadow. I think it'll blend in really well with what is in the background. And I am, like I said, using the forest flowers, so I'm just gonna randomly stamp a lot of these in the background and just put this up and then get going. Now, in some cases, if you want to get out a single um, acrylic block and just stamp away, it might be easier than loading the um, stamping platform back and forth for the background, um, that's up to you. So I'm just going to like randomly stamp, like I said, I just want some in the background. And I'm going to go ahead and just use them all, all the, the four that's in that set. And I'm going to continue to use the same ink. And just randomly put them on in the background like it would be if you saw them in the meadow. These work really well together as a set because we have a variety of um, where the flowers are and the foliage. And I have one more. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some more. Okay, it looks like I might need some more tape. And the tape's right there. There we go. All right. So 
So basically, I'm building my, I'm building it forward, um, and you don't have to, you know, do these in order. Just go whatever way you want to, to make it look more random. Oops, I need to take that one off. So it's like making your own flower garden, I guess, or your wild garden. Wild flower garden. It's actually kind of fun. You just randomly stamp and that's all you gotta do. It really depends on your paper also, obviously, what colors you use. And um, the background, when I made it, uh, I showed you at the beginning what ink I used. So you know that that will work well together for a background. All right, so that's, um, I'm gonna put some over here, I think, right by the peacock behind, because I can. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I do think I'm gonna put that mask on the peacock a second because I do want to get it a little bit closer. All right. Yep, that's what happens sometimes. It pulls it up, but that's okay. I don't want this to be too sticky on the ink. Alright, there's that one, and we'll do one more. I think we'll add the flower. But just to be different, I'm going to do that one. Alright. Alright, so now we're going to change up the colors a little bit. And we we'll go ahead and pull out different colors. Okay, so for now, I am taking the exact same ones I used before, but what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of green to the stem and then a little bit of color to the top. So um, it's not um, the easiest thing to do, so it's kind of a random color background. But I wanted to give it a little bit more color in the front. So like I said, I'm basically, oh, I'm using um, Shady Lane. Yeah, and I'm just doing the stem part and then I'm coming back with a color. And in this case, I'm gonna be using um, Charming Pink for these blossoms. And it's just how you stamp it. You can kind of see how I've got pink and then green at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, and I did leave my mask I did leave my mask on my peacock. And let's see how that works. Yeah, so that gives us the color in the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the one over here also, but um, what I'm gonna do for this one, oh, I think I'm gonna do the same color. I can change out colors based upon what's behind, like I could have made this one more orange, but I think I'm gonna stay with the pink color there. Yeah. Let's just see. I might change my mind. But I think the pink will, I think it'll be good. So again, Shady Lang stem. I wish this um, went in a different direction. It's really difficult to work when it's horizontal like this in front of the um, camera and opening and closing the lid, which is why I might be better off using a acrylic block but then if I mess up, I can't change anything. Fix it. All right, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I think next I'm going to be using, um, what will be really easy is the um, foliage will just be shady, will just be shady lane. 
So um, I'm going to add that. Make sure my peacock stays put. I just have a tiny bit of tape back behind there. I've yet to get some uh, masking paper, but I have that on my wish list to do. Okay. I might just start stamping from the side and my peacock came off. Might be easier. Okay. Right, that looks great. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that one up there. I think it's okay. And I think I have some more over here. So, like I said, this wild, um, what do I call it? Yeah, forest flowers, sorry. The forest flowers from Fairy Hugs, this really makes a really pretty um, scene with all the different foliage. And the peacock makes a really nice focus. Um, a focus picture for the front. I don't know if you make Mother's Day cards, but this would be a really nice Mother's Day card, I think, too. I am gonna pull out a different color um, green um, because I think um, for the other um, foliage, I think it should be a different color green. And so, let's see here. Yep. We're gonna have rainforest. I think that will be fabulous for the other foliage. Okay, because otherwise it looks too much the same. Here we go. I think I'm gonna put some over here too, move this out of the way. I know, maybe it looks weird that you're seeing this sideways, but I'll flip it for you. But you can see, you can still build things, doing things on the side. Um, I think it works. I need to tape that back down. Here we go. I'll flip it around. Just so you can see how we're, we're building it so far. I'm going to add some of this to here too. Right. And then we need to start doing some more flowers. Alrighty. I think I need some back here too. I think I'm going to do the flowers first and then we'll add more if we need it. So again, I'm going to stay with the Shady Lane for the stem, and I'm going to go ahead and use this. It's not a single stem or a single flower, but it looks like one. And I'm going to need some more red eventually, but this one, this single one is going to stay, is going to be the an orange. And I'm going to be using summer time. And it's a fairly bright orange. And it looks like I need to wipe off a little bit of that ink. There we go. That gives me my orange. That's really pretty. I think I'm going to add a little bit more orange up in here. Although, yeah, we are. I 
And again, I'm using the Shady Lane. I don't use the Shady Lane pretty much for all of, like I said, the stems of the flower. some more orange over here. It's like flower arranging. And I think you've got the hang of it. It's just basically all I'm doing is putting the green at the bottom and then I'm adding the orange to the top where the blossoms are. And I am going to do that throughout on the card. I put an orange over here, and I think I'm going to be done with the orange. Oh, I would do it in two places. Just a bit down here at the bottom. So in this case, I'm just going to add the orange, I think. I don't even think I'm going to add the... You don't see much of their green. Okay. And then I need a little bit at the top. It's easy when you're doing it like this, the pads are so big, it's easy to really um, get the ink in places you don't want it on your lid. All right, so let's take a look and see where we need, I know we need some more red. So let's see. I think I'm gonna go up a little bit higher and then we're gonna go for our red. All right, last one. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do the one that has more of the flowers on it. And that one's gonna go here. And again, that one, tape that back down. Um, shady lane at the bottom. And then the charm and pink at the top. Off to the side, it gets to be kind of a mess trying to pull things up. Okay. Don't want to get too crazy here. All right. All right, so then for the, I think just along the bottom here, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the um, summertime, or a golden meadow rather, sorry. Um, just for a little bit of a filler. And I'm just gonna add that along the bottom here. And if that doesn't work out, I'm gonna add it, add the shady lane to it or something. But I think that'll work for the filler. Yeah. 
so that works fine. I'll just add a little bit more filler along the bottom and we'll be done with doing our forest flower stamping. and get that finished off to show you what else I'm going to do. Okay, I want to finish off my card by adding a little bit of um, shading and I'm going to be doing a, not a moon but a sun and because I'm doing the sun I'm going to be using spiced marmalade and um, this is just a cut cardstock circle and I'm just going to go around the edge of this just to try to get a little bit of, um, I call it, a, well, I call it a halo, but it's kind of like a shine from it. So that just gives you the look of the sun in the background. Not very much, just a little bit. And then, I think I could add just a little bit more. Hold on. I think, um... I'm trying to think if I want it to be a little bit darker, but I think that's good. That's good. All right, so then the other thing I wanted to um, do is have the peacock have a little bit more of a standing ground. He or she looks like it is standing, but I'm going to just give it just a little bit more right where the feet are located. And I'm just going to give it just a little bit, a tad bit of green. Let's take a look. Yeah, so that looks like um, the peacock standing more on a, a hill, I think. And then for the outside all the way around, I'm gonna be using chip sapphire just to kind of like shade the edges. Next thing um, I am going to do is highlight some of these flowers with a gold gel pen. side and I'll get out that gel pen. Okay. Let's get out that gel pen. Give it a little bit of highlight. And I use um, this is a Pentel Sparkle Pop and this one is gold. And so all I'm going to do is come back to a lot of these centers and put the light on. Okay. I'm going to come to a lot of these centers and I'm just going to be adding just randomly ones I can find just to give it a little bit of um, highlight. I'm going to get that closer so you can see. Even the ones in the background, I'm gonna go ahead. Just gives it a little pop. Any place that you see that little center to the flower, you can add that.
even if there's a spot I did one without a center, that works fine. So I think that's pretty, pretty much that. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So that works out really, really well. Just adds a little bit of sparkle to it. So, um, and you can see the peacock has its gloss to it also. So I'm just gonna put that on a card base and I will be done. I'm gonna turn that off a second so you can see that's a natural light. So you can see. All right, so I have all of the um, products that I used in the description below. So I thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to um, subscribe and like our channel. Thank you.